Now your nigga gone flexing in your section with your weapon and you reckless. Ain't nobody checking me, ain't no disrespecting me now. Young nigga, a caterpillar, imitation of what he think is a real nigga. A gang spitter, cocaine flipper, who same manner. Illegal tent on his rental, these windows presidential. That type of lights get behind this nigga, he smash on him. OG say follow these simple rules, you'll last longer. He ain't elevating and rapping in his cocoon cone. His daddy living, his mama strong, got that nigga strong. We talked about this earlier. It's the same thing when you talk about price versus value, priceless versus worthless. Neither of them have dollar amounts, but both of them have a connotation to them. Mm -hmm. If I put, go ahead. But where where does that connotation come from? It comes from here, right? That's it comes what I said. No, 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 no. But like it, you were saying, from, it comes from your past, past experience. experience and also your heart. So back to what I said. And I, I get what you're saying, but it still ultimately goes all the way back to, you know, the heart, the mind. But go ahead. But I just wanted to bring that point back. As a man, as a man, I have learned that women do base, you know, their potential, another word, potential future relationships mm -hmm. on the past. What has happened to them in the past, and, and they carry that baggage with them. Now, not every woman. Nine times out of ten, from my experiences, that baggage has come into the relationship. What I need everybody a woman everybody carries baggage into a relationship. What what I need yeah. what I, I need the so woman to say do. everyone. Yes. How but, you handle but, it. Is but different. if you come with ten, I may just come with two. So it's a My difference. point is it's always a different amount of baggage. Exactly. But it's but still baggage coming. Oh, yeah, I need you to go to baggage claim. Yeah. The bag is coming. <laughs> the bag I, need is to go, I need you to go to baggage claim. Up what we put, need. Put, put it up there right now. This is what I'm bringing to the table. This is what has happened to me. I'm That's not true. going to base the things that have happened to me on what potentially may happen to us. I'm just letting you know these things happen to me. If I react a certain way, please excuse it. Yeah. Now. So that's what hit the rotation to keep going around. You pick up what you need do off you of it. I'm going, I'm, going back to the, I'm going back to the conditional statement. If you cannot do that, mm -hmm. then we're not going to be a good match. Now, mm -mm. that is the ultimatums now that are put on men. Because now there's more and more increasingly negative baggage that is being brought to relationships nowadays because now we're experiencing things that we don't experience 30 to 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a different time period. So we I am not my granddaddy. We're, you're not. I, I can venture even to say I'm not my father. I am not even my father. I'm not even my older brother. I haven't went you know, through just, what my father and granddaddy had to go through to get to you. And that's the thing. What people have to realize, we can't Hold on to what great grandmama, grandmama, my mama. No, we have to live in now. What's going on in society? How? Not even how everything's set up because just because of what social media they feed all of this into. But overall, you have to be aware. But at the same time, you can't take every single thing and put it in your life. Mm -hmm. You take the good, mm -hmm. add it up to what you need it to be. So basically, you your filter needs to be clean. Exactly. You you have to. Oh no no no! Not even clean. But you have to be clean. Open to continue to filter new things in and out because these times are changing so much. So you can't be set on this way because you're gonna be right back there with great grandma. But hot damn it! That's why I wanted you to say that. Now I'm saying that to say this now. The relationships of the past, we have not learned. From what they have done. No. They endured. They they persevered. Keywords. You know, they 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 did they went through the hard time. And I, I venture to say I have not went through any of the hardness or the the things that they have went through in their time period because no, they went through racism, they went through segregation, they went through degradation. And that they was went, outside the relationship. And that was outside the relationship. Outside and so they the still had to endure loving me mm -hmm. and loving you versus all this shit that oh, we're having okay. to deal with yeah. on the outside exactly. world. Exactly. So now one could argue the world has changed. Now one could argue a little bit. Look at all this police brutality. It, it been going on. It's just recorded. The now. racism was way worse and blatant when they was getting fire hose for marching. And I could, I could, I could drink from this water fountain. 
You can't you know, go in that building because you black. Mm. I but, wish you would now, call him anything but master. But but now, but now, <laughs> but now, but today, but now, but today, I'm not gonna stay with him because he doesn't like the way I dress. I'm not going to stay with him because he's not it. The, 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 the requirements and the conditions have changed, not just because of the dynamic of the relationship, but also the uh, the he's, outside world. He's, he's or she got nicer clothes and a nicer car. I want to be over there. I don't care if he beat women. No, but, but see, I don't care if he, I don't care if he, but I'm talking about today. They can have I don't it. care what kind of crazy he come with. I want to look that good. Oh, oh, no, Relationship no. goals. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you're mental. That's what matters the most. These people over there with the newest cars, 80K in debt. You over here with a car four years old. Y'all got 100K in the savings. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. You see that. Mm -hmm. But you and actually, you're living the life that they want to live. Mm -hmm. They up there probably arguing, fighting every night. All the bills coming in, all these pink slips. Like, no. Yeah, it's just perception but versus it, it really is. You have to appreciate what you have for what it is. Stop mm -hmm. watching everybody else. Because you don't know what they go through. You don't know what they endure. You don't know what the generation. All this stuff affects you as a person. Success costs. On yes. every corner. On every corner. Success costs. There's a reason why envy was forbidden. You, you may not read the Bible or even believe in it, but there's a reason it's struck down as a sin to envy. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't know what they had to do to get to that point or what they're having to do to maintain, maintain. it. You're right. Right? Definitely. So when I look at a man with a beautiful woman and I'm single, she don't even have to be my type. I just think she's beautiful because... I'm seeing her with him, and they look good together. Mm -hmm. We've seen couples like, they look good. Yeah. Damn, he mm -hmm. fresh, she fresh. We've seen couples that look good together. Mm -hmm. On the inside, we don't know how they feel about each other. Exactly. We don't know if they want to kill each other, if they're keeping up appearances for however long. But to us, on the outside, that's a beautiful couple, right? Never has it crossed my mind when I've seen somebody else. I want her from him I want her I've always said damn I guess I like red bones now I gotta find me a red bone <laughs> well damn I want me a dark skinned woman mm -hmm. well white women starting to be my thing <laughs> come on Miss Puerto Rican I got to find me one I ain't never discriminated on color nationality or nothing like that mm -hmm. but I never wanted exactly what another man had right yes yeah. Though I've indulged in another man's business in my adolescence, mm -hmm. that was from lack of knowledge of knowing what the repercussions was going to be about. Aside from if I get caught, he's going to try to hurt me. Yeah, I'm talking about the mental unstableness of myself, trust issues that you don't have to live with, because if you live a life long enough in crime, you're going to tend to think everybody trying to do that to you, mm -hmm. even when you stop. Yeah. The, what they say, the guilty, always the <laughs> one pointing the finger. You do it long enough, you start to feel like everybody's Definitely. doing that. So when I look at things and people and relationships, I never say I want that from him or envy that. But I always say I aspire to have a good look. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, I, I I actually want people to say, Jermaine, look good with her, man. I never thought I'd see him with somebody, <laughs> but they look happy. Mm -hmm. I hope they really happy. Yeah. Jermaine's not good at faking it. If we ain't happy, you won't see her with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell her, go get your peace of mind, baby. I don't know how you're gonna have to do it, but I respect you enough to tell you I'm not gonna force you to be in my face. When you need time. Indeed. So. Next thing I wanted to get into. I really wanted to ask you to give me three things. Because I feel like it's important that women require a standard for men. 
when meeting them. And I'm not talking about the superficial things. I'm not talking about material things. I am not referring to the things in their pockets. I am not even talking about uh, where you can take me. What presidential suite you can get me on the weekend. Give me three things you require of a man that you meet. I require, overall, I can't even say a mentally stable man because I know what I go through and it's not a point. Whoa, yes you can require a mentally stable I mean, yes, but I know I no overall. I know I've been through therapy. You have to be to a point where you understand yourself mm-hmm. and overall, like mentally. Mm-hmm. I need somebody, and I honestly can't say at my level just because the next person I may meet has not been in the military so I can't say at my level but you need to be mentally conscious didn't we talk about equally yoked definitely but so don't exclude anything when you talk about what you you require. you you right so talk I to want about you you require to be able to deal with your demons mm-hmm. address them mm-hmm. It's a stigma with black men. Is this all inclusive or is this just number one? This is number one. Okay, cool. It's a stigma with black men to go through therapy because of how everybody treats you. Oh, you retarded, you crazy. No. You have these underlying issues that's not going to make you the man that you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So you need help with that. I go to counseling. Mm -hmm. So, overall, if I meet somebody and they're like, oh, this, uh, well, have you done this? No, I don't have no problems, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Because you can't acknowledge your faults in me. I'm a grown ass woman, and I know. I be wild, just with all my symptoms and everything from the military, but overall, you don't have to be in the military to deal with PTSD, trauma, all of this. So don't Facts. get it twisted. Facts. Just because you've been in the military, that's the only time. No, people have dealt with so much stuff in their life. Mentally. And everybody's like, oh no, you go there, they won't think you crazy. No. Forget all that. Get the help that you need to deal with the issues. That's my number one thing. You come to me, you have these issues. I, hold up, bro. You wild. So you had a dude deny that he ever even had problems. Yes. So what's number two? Number two is love yourself. Mm. Because yeah. you can't even That's love good. yourself before you deal with the mental issues that you have from your childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. You can't. That's big. All three of my things have nothing to do with me. Let's be clear. Because that's why I had to check myself. If I require these things, I need to have these things together within myself. So if they meet these three things, okay, then we can build from there. But overall... You only gave us two. You only gave us two. Third requirement is be confident within yourself. Strive for what you want to do for you as a person. Don't base everything off us being together. I need you to be secure. Just like I said, all these three things. It has to do with you being a man. Mm-hmm. And even, and that's within today's society. Mm-hmm. You being a man for you. Mm-hmm. Because you can't be a man for me. No. If you can't be a man for you. 
a word to that. Come on, man. I want him. I want him. Oh, he wants so come on. Want you. Come on. Yeah. I want you. Okay. okay. What, Before. What I do. What I do. Nothing. I ask, I no, ask, nothing. But do I you just want you. Thing about her three requirements. Absolutely not. I totally agree. With agree her. with all of what her requirements. Because are. those Me are too. her requirements. I can't disagree with them. No, yeah, no, no, but, no, but, but I, I, I don't have any rebuttal. You don't have any rebuttal, you don't have any any rebuttal okay. or opinions. Not at all. I feel the same way. Everything you said, I was like, men should absolutely. But overall, listen. it's not a thing like, yeah. no, man, you need to make this amount of money. You need, need to do something. That, but uh, that's what I'm saying. It. Fellas out there, don't confuse it. This is Crystal's requirement. Your woman, you. your woman may have been through very different things. And I went through a lot of shit. Let's she, believe. She's been through. Been through it. Hey, but still today, I stand I asked, on this ground. You, I asked that question because I want men out there to be comfortable asking that question. It's very important to talk to the woman you're interested in, the woman you're dating. Hey, what are your requirements of a and, man? And if it's nothing you know, but every you can't fulfill. But everything I added up. If you think about it. One, two, three. What would that equal? The three marriages. No, hell no. <laughs> no, hell no. No, fuck them. <laughs> Bro, you don't got that. But no, 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 no. That wasn't it. Because I got married out of convenience. And like we said, I got, I, yeah, it was cool points, but I got married. But overall, like, no. I what I said, I what I said is building you as the man that I need, that God put you in my life for, mm -hmm. or whoever you believe in. Like, not saying everybody got to believe in God, but you know, overall. Some people believe, some people believe, I have come to believe sometimes. God puts me in a lot of people's paths to prepare them for what's to come, and then I'm gone. Good luck, and, sir. And, and, hold up. Uh, pause. Good, what good is luck, that? Sir. Say the one word. What is that? It bothers me. Season. And yeah, I said yeah, that yeah, way yeah. earlier. That's the season. Seasons. But here's the thing. He's tired of being fall. No, 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 let, no, let no, me no, 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 there's no limit to the learning process. Dude, I got one mouth. I got two ears. I hear twice as much of what I mm -hmm. need to be yeah. getting than what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm learning I'm learning just as much. I regurgitate so much, people have to remind me I told them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, like oh, I said last time. Well, I heard that on my other podcast. I just figured it was gonna be good for you. <coughs> Here you go. And I matter of fact I got that from whoever that I was on the podcast with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they say cite your sources. Mm. Sometimes I don't have time. Exactly. You just need the information like I got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I get the credit indirectly. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. What I'm proud of is that now they've got the tools in their bag to but fix whatever they fix. That's the place now, that you've been put in. That's why I said I'm not tired. Because you want to Sometimes I you. get frustrated. You get wary, but at the same time. I get frustrated with. Okay, let's put it like this the easy way. I'm not going to do the long way because I got to get to these next couple yes, questions sir. so we can close out. What time is it? People have asked y'all that many times in your life, right? What time is it? What, hey, you got the time? What time is it? Hey, what time is it? I guess I'm in a point of my life where sometimes I go through certain things and I'm asking God, what time is it? Because I feel like I've been here. Did I not pass that test? Did I not? You, you see what I'm saying? But, but I want to ask. 
you what went time is you it? went there, but you didn't learn the lesson you were supposed to learn My at that thing point is, in time. I understand that there is a divine timing exactly. for things. For everything. That season. It's things that he could have told me when I seen him three months ago. Mm -hmm. That came out tonight that I'm like. And Exactly. Now you ain't never told me. But he said it. But your ears, your heart, your I, mind is open to receiving. I was not in a position to even receive it. Come on now. Three months ago. And it's what we was just talking about on break. All I'm saying is, we could have been talking about that as many times as we've had. We had an hour long conversation today. <laughs> right or wrong? Just me and you. That just me and you. Mr. My David, have you ever been so busy trying to make people feel what you feel in a relationship instead of using your mind to get out of a bad situation? Have you ever led with your emotions overthinking your way out of this situation? The answer to that one is yes. No, it's hell yeah. It's, it is an, an emphatic yes. It exactly. Is. I've led with emotions just as much as I've led with logic. You feel like that's a human trait? I, uh, it, it, it is a human trait and it's not lost on some people, but it's not found in some people as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, with growth. It is the ability to actually balance what is logical and what is emotional. We've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes when that balance is out of whack, is when you may have an, uh, a breakdown in communication. You may have a breakdown in so many other things. Um, I've talked about before in past relationships to where I've ignored the signs that were in front of me in hopes that my emotion would carry me over. And in fact, out. that it would bring her closer to me if I showed mm. the emotion mm. that she is emitting to me rather than being the person that I am and using that logic to bring her emotion over to where I am. But as a female, mm -hmm. what you perceive as her emotion at that point, no, when we there, we're there. So what you receive is anger, frustration, built up, like I said, we are set about 70%, but we hold on to that extra stuff and that's where the volcano comes. And y'all like, well, what happened? I thought we was cool. No, we not. But y'all don't understand that because that's how we process it. See, I understand it now because now I don't deal in emotion. But also, I don't deal, so well, excuse me, let, wait, me wait, take, wait. let me take that back. I don't deal solely okay. in emotion. Okay. And I now do not also deal solely in logic. When dealing with emotion, I've learned that emotions change. They come, they go. So when name I a, was- Name a few emotions for the people. Let, let me start with happiness, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest misnomers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. People always, always say, even Mary J. Block came with a song, all I want is to be happy. Mm -hmm. And you see what she went through. People that seek happiness all the time are doomed to fail because you cannot prolong an emotion. No. It doesn't matter what type of emotion it is, no. you cannot prolong it for an infinite amount of time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Emotions are chemical imbalances that we have in our body if we're being scientific about it. Mm -hmm. They can be changed with large amounts of chocolate. Mm -hmm. They can be changed with large amounts of alcohol. With large amounts of alcohol. They can be changed with large amounts of caffeine. Mm -hmm. Because and now, then, if I'm drinking a whole bunch of coffee and I get emotional. Oh, and sex. And, and sex. Large amounts of dick. And, mm -hmm. You know, yes, if we're talking about it. No D for me. Sex. Oh. <laughs> We don't know what sex no. because it's uh, um, different genders. Because yeah, yeah, I mean, we don't do that. Let's not just sex. Let's not. Let's not say sex. No, it's just. Let's not say sex. 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 Let's not say sex.
know let's say stuff. hormones. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Hormones. We're going to keep it there. The hormones, you know, right. the, the, the male the hormones. <laughs> The male hormone of testosterone, the female <laughs> hormone of estrogen. I'm not, yes. I'm not letting that ride. Right. Yeah. They, will, they will dictate how we feel. Mm -hmm. And how we feel changes when those things change in our bodies, when those things change in our makeup. Definitely. Those things that make me happy will keep me happy for a while. Come on now. But eventually the happiness will fade because those things... Just like in life, everything changes. Exactly. So those things that make me sad over time will change. You know what they say the the the, the equation for <coughs> the equation for comedy is? It's tragedy plus time. Yeah. So what is tragic right now, over time, I can go back and look at it and laugh about it. Yeah. Because but time has was going softened that blow, but when I was going through it, oh, no, no, you I couldn't find everybody. No, so now instead of dealing with emotion, I've talked about this before too. I've learned how to move emotion out the way. But even when doing that, what are you left with when you move emotion out the way? You're left with logic. So logically, when I'm trying to deal in a relationship. And I'm, I'm not trying to make this a very extended answer, but no, I'm no, 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 I am sat back. He don't sat back, so no, I'm sat back then. because I got a question. I, I'm about locked in. Women to you. I, I'll, I'll come with it I'll because they're it. emotional, and if we just don't now, 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 if we did now, now, yeah. if I move emotion out the way, I'm dealing solely with logic. Logic, okay. Now, the problem with logic is that people equate being logical with being right. Mm. So sure. there's the problem. You can be logical or you can be illogical. Now yeah. both of those things are still on the logic spectrum. Neither of those things deal with emotion. I can be illogical without dealing with emotion. Yeah. But I can be I can be truthy. And what is truthy? I talked about being why? truthy before. He put the why on the end of truth. Yeah, he, he explained it to me, but explain it to everybody okay. else. For those that, that don't really understand my my definition of being truthy, being truthy is having a version of the truth. It's having a version of the truth that suits you. Being truthy is having a version of the truth that suits you. Now, how can you have a version of the truth? I'm glad you asked. Somebody asked. No, you asked. No, I asked. I'm glad you asked. That is just I did. That I that's the thing. I like. <laughs> As a man, that's what y'all gonna do. This bottle contains liquid. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Yep. This bottle contains purple liquid. Mm -hmm. Is that the truth? Yes. Absolutely. To me. Because you can say, no, it's not that's not purple, that's lavender. Or it's not purple, that's violet. In your opinion, your opinion is true to you. <laughs> you see how it can be obscured? You your are opinion so is true right. but to you. No, but no it doesn't good. make it not truth. It makes it your version of the truth, which makes it true thing. Because now what you're going to do, if this is violet, mm -hmm. and the fact that this is violet will get you a million dollars, then now that truth becomes truthy because you're benefiting from that truth. I don't benefit from that truth. A lot of times when we get into arguments with people, we will tell our version of the truth to make ourselves look better. Or, My version looks Or to better. get them to side. Or to get somebody to side with you. Uh, no, I don't believe that because... Yes, you if, No, no, no. First off, because you if don't you, you do this. know, if don't you do want, this. no, if you want the Crystal, truth. Crystal, don't do this. I'm going to you. Tell have you have absolutely called your best friend. Well, hold on. I, I'm and told tell, your no. version of the damn truth. Now, let, let me, no, let, hold on. Let, let, me, let me delve into it just I, a little bit no, more. No, but what I'm saying is. Before you say, let me delve into it Go just ahead, a little man. bit more. Crystal, you have done this. 
and this will this will clarify it just a little bit more. When we tell the truth, but leave out certain facts mm -hmm. of the truth mm -hmm. oh. to make our truth oh, sound on, to make our no, truth. No, no, wait no, a minute, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let me finish. Go ahead. This. Mm -hmm. When we tell the truth, mm -hmm. but we leave out certain parts of the truth mm -hmm. to make our truths sound truthier. Mm -hmm. It is now that we are not telling the truth. When you tell half of the truth, now you are telling a whole lie. Omission. First off, it is a called the truth. Every time truth by omission is a whole lie. Mirror straight count, straight place make